Day 20 is investigate. And when it comes to this, the uh, game that always comes to mind for me is the games that are in the Gumshoe Systems umbrella. Largely because of the fact that it addresses an issue that happens whenever you're trying to do investigation-heavy uh, campaigns. Where the die roll ends up being a binary yes or no. When the way investigations work in fiction doesn't necessarily go with that. You already have the knowledge to some degree. It's just a matter of applying it and how well you can apply it. So the whole idea of rolling bad means you weren't able to uncover the clue doesn't quite work, which is the reason why Gumshoe uses it as a resource instead of anything else. Now even with that, there are other games that do the investigative um, approach pretty well in my opinion. Um, the free game Crimes People Play is one example. Um, another paid example that's doing pretty well for itself, and one that I've interviewed the creator of, is City of Mist. In these particular cases, there's definitely a more noir aspect, but there's also an understanding that the mystery is not going to be a straight affair. It's going to have many twists, turns, and red herrings. Um, when I ran the third edition version of the Enemy Within campaign, it was one giant who'd done it, where... There were three potential culprits, and the uh, players had to figure out which one of the three it was, because all three of them had means, motive, and opportunity to one degree or another. And I do take a bit of pride that I was able to lead them on um, several red herrings with the matter. I think I kind of flopped it at the end, but it is what it is. But I don't want Gumshoe to be the be-all, end-all when it comes to doing detective-style gaming. It's just that I do think some aspects of Gumshoe are, contain things that um, other developers can learn from. Just like many games can have something that people learn from in one form or another. The big takeaway, of course, is making sure that the binary doesn't happen. The concept of fail-forward has been brought up quite a bit over the years, and... It's one that I think should apply just as well when it comes to detective stories. So if somebody fails, it's not that they couldn't get um, the information, it's that, the, it's that they ended up getting information, but not necessarily the info they were looking for. Because when, when you have that dead end as a failed role, then the narrative momentum stops, and nothing kills interest like a stop. 